In addition to existing drug problems on the street, LA is facing another great danger against flesh-eating zombie drug. According to LA County Sheriff's Department, xylazine, animal tranquilizer, often called a trank or a trank dope, on the streets has become increasingly shown up in the illicit drug supply. It is also called a zombie drug and it stems from the substance known effect of rotting the skin. Many drug users mix this substance with illicit opioids like heroin or fentanyl and it may cause severe effects such as disfiguring and malfunctioning body and muscle making people like zombie and this may cause a limb amputation and sometimes death from overdosing. If LA do not take tough actions on drug issues, Angelinos may watch Philadelphia zombie scene more often in the city. But it seems like efforts made by the city of LA is not enough to fix the issues. According to recent reports from LA Public Health Department, the death rate increased 55% among homeless in LA County between 2019 and 2021. More than 2,200 homeless died across the county in 2021. The leading cause of death was drug overdose, which comprised 37% of all homeless death count. This is not it. If you find out how LA taxpayers' money being used on homeless drug issues, I bet you'll be frustrated big times. According to Fox LA's recent report, one of the LA nonprofit that has a record of receiving millions of dollars government funding handed out a clean meth pipe to homeless on Skid Row. While nonprofits and supporters say this harm reduction program and campaign providing a free meth pipe may decrease the spreading of disease among homeless, but the campaign itself has a great controversy that may look to encourage the drug use, which is the leading factor of homeless death and street violence. I think this clearly shows the city of LA does not have a strong will to touch the fundamental issues of drug problems on the street, but to present temporary remedy to achieve a superficial change by funding the campaign that doesn't address the main point of the issues, which is very disappointing.